Greetings from Yakutsk, the coldest city in the world. It's minus 42 at the time I'm recording this video. It's been only 5 minutes I'm outside and my scarf is already frozen as my eyelash are. Our lungs are not used to those extreme temperatures. That's why the first thing that happened to me when I got out of the airport was coughing. Let's check out a minus 41 if it's like. So they have like one door, two door <laughs> and three door. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Yakutsk is the capital city of the Sakha Republic, Russia, and is located about 450 kilometers south of the Arctic Cycle. Yakutsk, with an average winter temperature of minus 40 degrees centigrade, is the coldest city in the world. Yakutsk is also the largest city located on continuous permafrost, which means that you cannot dig here under the ground to build pipes to transport water or gas. You have to build them over the ground. So because the city was entirely built on permafrost. All the pipes that carry hot water are built on the ground, like those ones for example. The conditions here are very extreme, but it's a very usual winter day right now for the inhabitants of Yakutsk. Minus 40 for the inhabitants of Yakutsk is not even considered to be cold weather. For them it's just a very usual winter. Minus 50 is also normal for us. Minus 50 is also normal. Yes, we are like this. We are like this. Даже маленькие учен. Да. А, с какой температурой холодная? Самая холодная у нас 60. 60 с плюсом. 60 с плюсом. 62, 63, ага. 65. Это уже холод. Because it can go as low as minus 50, minus 60 even outside. On the recorded lowest temperature here was minus 71. We are right now crossing a bridge on a river that is completely frozen. Check it out, guys. There is a blizzard over there that is a mix of pollution and cold. So right now the temperature outside is minus 41. We are going to go out. So I do have four layers of clothes here. One, two, three, four, and here three for my legs. And we are going to see how much time I can stay outside. So they are putting carpets in the entrance of every building to avoid people from falling. It is that cold outside that they cannot turn the engine of their car off. If they do so, then their engine would freeze and they would be unable to turn their car on again. Some people put some cover over their car to keep them warm. For example, this one, there is nobody inside, but the car is still turned on. It's been something like two minutes, I'm outside and I'm already freezing. I need to put my gloves on because otherwise I'm going to have a frostbite. The inhabitants of Yakutsk live in a constant fear of frostbite, which is a skin injury that occurs when exposed to extreme low temperatures, causing the freezing of the skin or other tissues, commonly affecting the fingers, toes, nose, ears, cheeks or chin areas. Without wearing clothes, you could get a frostbite as fast as in 10 minutes in Yakutsk. Alright, so we have got a school over there and as you can see, there is no kids playing outside. Those things to cover the cars here are called Natasha. But you can buy them for something that, like 10,000 robots, which is about uh, 100 euros, something like this. So you could think that this is an abandoned car, but that's not the case. It's just someone who turned off his engine during the winter, and he's not going to be able to uh, turn it on again until the summer. Even the, the glass here is frozen, you can see here crystals, ice crystals inside the window. Man, this is crazy. Over there we have got garage where people have got a little bit more money can put their car inside. You can imagine how the city is polluted with all those engines on cars running 24-7. Also like all the energy that is needed to hit the buildings, the schools. It's a, a tremendous amount of energy. The battery of my camera is rapidly falling. 
done, I'm done. This is very hard to film here. So here is the mighty Lena River, which as you can see, is right now completely frozen. If I would fall on the ground, break my leg, I would be dead here in a, in a few minutes. Man, with the fog and everything, it's, it's a crazy scenery of the world. It's unreal. So I think I can stay outside for something like 20-30 minutes. Uh, after this, it's, quite, it's getting quite cold. And right now, I can't. I don't really feel my legs anymore. But this is not the. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It was getting starting to get a little bit some to get warmer a little bit. You can see how frozen my. By those freezing temperatures, boiling water would instantly transform itself into ice crystals. Also, you could use a frozen banana or any kind of fruit object as a hammer. They are actually heating the apartment quite a lot. I'm almost feeling that it's too hot inside. However, if I want to open the window of my balcony and then the window of my As you can see, it's, um, there is steam that goes out of my mouth instantly. Oh, it's getting very, very cold, very, very fast inside. So it's kind of complicated to get to the right temperature inside. I can basically close this window and then let the door here open. But anyway, it will get too cold too fast because right now I'm freezing here. If it would happen that you would put your tongue in any metallical surface, then your tongue would stay stuck like this piece of meat. All of this is getting stuck on the metal surface, even here, for example. I am inside the balcony right now. I'm not even outside where it's minus 45 right now. Right now we are going to visit one of the biggest fish markets here in Yakutsk. You can imagine the effect on your health when you are working here by minus 40 for up to 12 hours every day. It's the biggest market of frozen fish here in Yakutsk. And you can see you don't need a freezer or a fridge here, like they are basically frozen because it's minus 40 outside, so... <laughs> we even have frozen milk. This is just insane. I've never seen that in my life. Even feet of cows. So, хорошо. Так что что тебе будешь нам показать сейчас? Ну и сейчас пойдем и покажу, где тут у нас ловка, рестораны. Потом по старому городу есть еще пройдемся. У меня постоянно шок, когда я выхожу на улице. А когда у вас было после мне раз минус 50? В Новый год. А, Новый год. 1 января. Я, мне сейчас уже очень холодно, я не могу себе представить, насколько это жестко. Можно сказать, ну не так уж и холодно было, по идее. Ага. В этом году из-за того, что ветра не было. А, да. I was trying to look for her face, but because of the protection for the cold, she doesn't have any face anymore. А ты тут на каком языке общаешься с людьми? На русском или у вас местный язык какой-то? Ну, свой родной язык, сахатла, якутский язык. Якутский язык, да. да. А, как будет меня зовут Орлен на якутском? Мин Атом Орлян. Мин Атом Орлян. Орлян. Мин Атом Орлян. Okay, so our friend, Айхал, is uh, leading me, taking me to uh, all the places. In Yakutsk. I don't really understand where, where we are going right now. We are kind of randomly walking in the city. And every time when we go in, when we come inside buildings, they are asking for my vaccination. But here, Pfizer, I mean Americans and Europeans, uh, vaccines are not... Uh, basically they don't work. I need to have the Sputnik one. This is little children. Actually, in Yakutsk, they are finding a lot of uh, skeleton of mammoth like every year there are new mammoths that are popping out of the popping out of the ground 
and I think I'm from one of the main amusement park in Nekutsk, which is a frozen toboggan. All right, guys, let's go. Какие планы у нас сейчас? Сейчас идем снимать, как люди будут заходить в прорубь. So even in Yakutsk, we have got memorials for the people that died during the Second World War that came from the far, far east of Russia to the Western Front to fight the Nazi Germany. А сейчас купаются, да, если? Да, купаются. Где это? Это... Okay, yeah, some this random Russian dude started to tell us something. Alexander, приятно, Уралиан. I'm feeling again like in some Game of Thrones episode. This is of course not the topic of this video. However, I happen to be in Yakutsk during the Epiphany Day in Russia and Orthodox Christians have this unusual tradition of bathing in frigid water. So I decided to check it out. So yeah, the, the water over there is, is at uh, zero degree, the place is heated, so... So actually, I didn't take an ice bath at this moment of the video because I had no tower with me. However, you will see me in another video where I actually did it in the morning and... Guys, I almost lost one finger during this experience, it was crazy. Gorgeous morning routine in the world. Uh -huh. Спасибо. Долго ждали? Замерзли? Нет. Я, я не прыгал. Нет, я вообще, не плавал. А тепло уже сейчас на улице? Не, наверное, не тяжи, да? Только а? минус 40. Не, не... The fact that it is a very, very dry cold uh, makes it not that bad actually to endure. Um, but if there is wind, uh, then it's over. Hello again, guys. Me, my man, on my frozen beard. Having a lovely time. I'm trying to uh, find the entrance of my house for the past 10 or 15 minutes. Let's freeze to death together. There is a stray dog over there, oh my god. Stray dogs can actually be very dangerous in Yakutsk because by those freezing temperatures they are usually very hungry and then they can attack people. This is like a post-apocalyptic scene with these abandoned cars covered with snow and ice. Check it out, please. You have to understand that a lot of people that were deported to the Gulag here never reached their destination because uh, they were that remote that even nowadays you cannot access those places by plane or by car. You will need an helicopter to go to those remote areas of Yakuti. Most of the people that were deported there never reached their destination and died frozen on their way to the Gulag in this landscape. A deadly, silent landscape. The inhabitants of Yakutsk don't even need to check the weather to know how cold it is outside. They can just look at the thickness of the fog. The thicker the fog is, then the colder it is outside. So here, all the houses have been built on pillars. The reason why is because the heat from the uh, houses might melt the permafrost that is under the ground. And then this would mean that some houses might collapse because of that. You can see your old house, typical house of Yakutsk, that might one day collapse because of the perpetual judgment in thickness of the permafrost that is under the ground of the city. You can see how red is my hand right now. I need two minutes without my gloves, just the time to check the map. I can't even get inside. Yakutsk 
is known to be the capital of Chakucha, which is the biggest oblast of Russia. It is as big, even bigger actually than Argentina, or maybe five times the size of France. Because it is that close to the Arctic, the sun here during winter only shines for a few hours. It's 4 p.m. right now and the sun is already getting done. And by night the temperatures, the feeling is no more like minus 40. It's more like minus 50 or something like that. Even in Yakutsk you will find those good old Lenin statue and those Prospect Lenina like in any other cities in Russia. For example, or Lenin is standing over there in the cold without any shoe bab yet. I have to constantly keep working. If I stay in one place without moving for too much time, I get too cold too fast. Today is only about minus 33 degrees centigrade which is uh, hot. So I have got a very authentic uh, wolf fur, like coat of... Uh, it's made from real fur of uh, wolf. So even here you can see the eyes of the wolves have been um, decorated. The ears are... The ears are... Uh, the ears right there. Ah, okay, I thought only the eyes, but yeah, you can see. Made from real hunters of Yakuza. Oh, check it out, guys! <laughs> so this is with those sleds. We are going to go around the lake and do some dog sledding. Like for Yagare. Oh my God! This is crazy. Man. So we are having an interesting conversation with my friend who knows Russian and I also speak Russian. So we have got two French men that are speaking in, uh, in uh, Russian right now, talking to each other in Russian. Зачем нам нам надо говорить на французском? Если мы уже на русском, не во Франции, не надо просто. Да, and I have a, I have a very stupid story by the way to tell. Okay. When I was in Paris, I got a, a message from Stephen telling me that you are getting used to the to the cold in Moscow. Like yeah. you were walking in uh, in shirt outside and it was like minus 26 or yeah, minus 5. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do the same in Paris. I'm going to get used to the cold. I'm going to walk in t-shirt. Yeah. And uh, then I went outside uh, and it was only like plus five, plus six. Like, but it was raining. It made the rain. And then uh, I got sick. And then you get sick. <laughs> but the, the thing with this, like the harsh weather, I never get sick in Yakutsk. I never get got sick. Maybe because of the like very um, fast changement of uh, temperature yeah. when you go inside a restaurant and then you go outside, yeah, you, you can get. You can get sick, uh -huh. I guess, but because it's like mm -hmm. dry. In the next video, we are going to try some traditional Yakutian food and then get ready to embark on one of the most dangerous journey I have ever undertaken. We are going to drive through the east of Yakutia to get to Omyakon, the coldest inhabited place in the world. I hope that you like this video, guy, and that you are ready for what's next.